What's up everyone, Tony here for part 64 of my first person HUDless Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. And today we provide Rain's Fall with some backup at the negotiations table here in the fine art of conversation. Buddy. Josiah? Hi, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Brat. Or I'll be dead. What do you mean? <laughs> well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Trelawney's like neutral. I'll miss you, Arthur. But yeah, he's also insane. Now, and he's like, get over this isn't going very well. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. Go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Good guy, Arthur. It's like, yo, just go. It's not good here. <laughs> Highly recommend just leaving and figuring out your life. Found a friend looking for you, Mr. Morton. Hey, sir. How it's our I boy. Help? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances in mind. Colonel Favor is going to do us a favor and care to remember, have a meeting with us. Time, he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? We got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. Poor My guy. Men are not allowed to carry arms. They definitely want just want to humiliate you further. Dull talking ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. <laughs> I'm too you sick. I'm too sick for this. I got I've saved your life. And then he's like, Do it for me. True, you're the homie. Okay, I'll go. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Charles is the homie. I can't say no to you, brother. Can't say no. Well, let's mount my horse and let's see if it glitches out again. Here we go. Moment of truth. Mounting. Hey! It worked! I got on the horse. Thank you for doing this. Both of you. Ain't a problem. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Look out! Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. <laughs> I'm not asking for very much. But when our people are uh. sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, I've seen enough of these stories to know. Something personal. How can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they The white man's probably fight. not gonna Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Be very reasonable here. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Uh, perhaps. There's an army captain, Lyndon Monroe, who was seconded here from a regiment in the north, sent by Washington. A good man. He'll be at the meeting and he knows the true situation. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. All right. Let's see what happens. I actually remember this mission. And I remember feeling so bad for Arthur. It was just... It's just brutal. They are really, really good at making you feel his sickness, right? His, his illness. Um... Even if you don't have tuberculosis, right? Just the way he's constantly coughing. Like, coughing is just a, a universal sign of being sick, obviously. And everyone's been sick before, so... 
the old falls. Unyapik Telo. This way. Oh, horse. Where are you going? Come on. This is the way. We'll see. We'll we'll see in just a second how uh Rockstar is able to just really effectively uh, portray this this uh, this poor guy, you know. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey. All right. We're at the meeting. Let's have a meeting. Colonel Favors. Oh wow, it even comes out of first person. Which is interesting. I guess they want us they want you to see uh friends of my people. They want you to see Arthur in just a second for pretty obvious reasons. They won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Listen, Mr. Chief. Yes, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm sure they do. Yeah. Listen, this guy's not going to be reasonable. <laughs> it's pretty obvious after the first freaking three words out of this Joker's mouth. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <laughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives but I pride myself on being a gentleman really I do but there are limits so let me be very just these are the nastiest you okay man yeah someone Jackson take him away the nastiest coughs I've ever heard in a video game You're gentlemen with limits good you god facetious sir come this way buddy I said it's just it sucks it's it's really heartbreaking to watch and like um like I was saying I think everyone maybe everyone I know I have certainly you just go sometimes you'll just have a coughing fit you know you don't know what it is something just gets caught in your throat or you're sick or you're getting over a cold and you just start coughing and you can't control it it's awful so I definitely got like some some you know flashbacks watching that cutscene going like oh man coughing fits in public that sucks that's like so awful and obviously it's way worse for Arthur here who's dying basically but hey we get to do our little stealth here Most of this is obvious, but care about the Indians because he doesn't want to back down his whole professional life. We know for sure that, yes, indeed, Rain's Fall was going to get screwed hard out of everything. Even this, this guy who wants to help. The other guy who's higher in command is like, hell no, we're not helping him at all. They get nothing. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> no, not feeling better, but. The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? <laughs> it's like, okay, we're Good done. Day, Colonel Favors. We're done. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? Yeah, so this guy's, this guy's a homie. This guy here is actually a homie. in public, was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. There you go. And that was the plan the whole time, to screw this guy over. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. Arthur's like, hell no. Hi, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Arthur wants justice. Okay? He's a good guy. He's not gonna... I don't want to kill this man. He's not gonna stand for this crap. Talk, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. 
And now, we get the banger of all bangers. This wonderful music. Ah! Here's the music. My intro music to every single damn one of these videos because it is so dope. It's just such a good song. Oh my god, the horseback shooting though. God, this guy, what the? Carbine repeater, thank you. That's all I want. Banger. Banger music right here. Awesome song. This song played in uh, the trailers before the game came out, or the gameplay before the game came out. So, I definitely knew the song before the game even came out. But man, even, even when playing, you're just like, this is a sick song. It's just so good. Can't decide my weapon. Oh god. There we go. Oh my god, I am lost. Got his damn arm off. This was meant to be a truth. Oh, all of them die. Die, die, die. Do not shoot that tree. <laughs> Boom. Lots of shooting. Lots of shooting in this, uh, in this chapter, right? This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Where is he? There he is. Get on the train and get the hell out of town. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. We can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. Arthur, he's too kind hearted. Guess I won't be submitting my report. Didn't even want to get involved with this thing at the beginning of the mission. And by the end of it, he's just saving this stranger that he just met, right? Like, what a good boy. Whoa. <coughs> Even though he's choking to death, the poor guy. I grimace every time. From now on, I'm sorry about your career. <laughs> I'm sorry about your whole, you know, career, life, going to, going to crap after this. At least you have your pride. Start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis. Jump on a boat. There you go. Avoid Guam. Where? Where? Forget about it. 
Do not go to Gorma. Skip that place. Go to Tahiti. Never go to Gorma. Ever. Forever? Forever. What are you doing here? What do you think, Arthur? I'm leaving. Running away. I suppose so, yes. I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's... He's very strange recently. Yeah. Understatement. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. I understand. You're, well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad either. Come on, man. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. Path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I felt that way for a long time about my. No, I have tuberculosis. I'm I'm dying. Right. <laughs> I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Damn! Look at his face. Maybe. Oh my God. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend. Good guy, Arthur. That's all I have to say about that one. He's a good man. That's going to wrap it up for today. Join me next time for part 65.